Michael, uh, TSN hockey insider Bob McKenzie came out with his final list of top prospects this week, and you are the top goalie on the list. Uh, when I say that, what goes through your mind? Um, it's definitely you know pleasure pleasure to be there. Uh, between uh, I know that there's many many great goalies this year, um, but I, I don't think I, I look at it like this way. Um, all, all I want to be is, is drafted to a team that wants me, that will take care of my development and where I will have a bright future. Well, we had our uh, mock draft, our final mock draft at TSN today with uh, our director of scouting, Craig Button, and he, he has you as a first-round pick. You say you don't mind where you go to. It would be great. But if you were in the first round, like, what would that mean to you? Um, Like... You know, everyone cares where, where they go, but uh, I don't think it's that important. Um, a player after draft, they still, still need to need to perform very well. So I, I think I see it uh, that way. Um, it would definitely be be a big honor being a goalie in the first round. So uh, we will see what happens next week. How did you feel about your season? How do you feel you played? Uh, I'm very thankful for the season, uh, even though I had some ups and downs, but I think that's something that uh that happens and it, i think it just made me a stronger stronger goalie but mainly a person how did you grow this season um i think mainly mentally uh just just uh, starting being more independent being in a new uh in a new country alone uh and just with the hockey i think i, I grew a lot mentally and also you know just as a goalie overall what was the biggest challenge being away from home um, I think, as I said, uh, being for the first time uh, without my parents, so just have, having to be more more uh, self independent, um, and then then the change, uh, the the level of hockey, you know, USHL, one of the best ju junior leagues. So uh, that was definitely a big jump for me, but I'm I'm very thankful for it for it, and I think uh, uh, it really helped me. When you're facing a lot of shots in a game, what's what's that like? What's the challenge there? Um, I love it. Uh, you know, uh, I, hockey is definitely it's a game game of goalies, and uh, it's always fun to uh, to to give give my team chance to win. So that's that's why I do it, and, and I enjoy every moment of it. How would you describe your style of play? Um, I think um, I I do block some shots, but still have active hands for my size. But I think that's something I can really improve on having more more active hands. Um, definitely this, my size is something pe people see immediately, um, the way I can move, how I'm athletic, quick. So I would describe myself as, as, as a you know quick quick goalie. I think I can read the game very well. So I'm, a, I'm very smart. Based on the measurements at the combine, you're getting pretty close to six foot seven. Do you still have room to grow or you think you're, you're topped out? Um, I think I'm... I stopped growing, but uh, you never know. Sometimes uh, I can I can grow just a little bit, maybe. And, and what where are you at in terms of maximizing your height and making sure you use that to your your best advantage? Um, you know I, I'm not a six six for for my whole life, so there's definitely a, a big 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 room for me just to to learning how to how to use it uh, the as best as I can. I think. Um, the college hockey and just just working working more with, with uh, NHL uh, goalie coaches and overall with goalie coaches what is something that they can prepare me and uh, just help me with that why did you decide to go to UMass um great school uh, great coaches and i think uh, with the facilities it's is the best place for me to 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 develop and just improve who is your NHL role model um, I don't, I don't role model myself on just one goalie. I like to watch all the goalies. There's a reason why all of them uh, play in the NHL. So there's always something that, uh, I can pick up from anyone and try it in practice. And if it works, why, why not use it in a game? What's an example of something that you recently watched, picked up and put into your game? Um, I think, uh, mainly, uh, uh, Vasilevsky, he, he uses some very interesting, uh, things that uh, that are that uh, young goalies can can learn, and it's uh, it's interesting how he uses his stick to 
to make the shooter shoot from close range. So that's something that we can definitely pick from his play. What does he do? Um, just the way he where he puts um, mainly uh, during uh, breakaways uh, his his stick. So he forces uh, the shooter to, to either to shoot, so he, he he knows that he will shoot, or to go to uh, uh, to some move. What was the experience uh, like at the NHL Combine? Um, I think it was great. Uh, it was a fun week, meeting new, uh, uh, old people I knew, new people, um, and just enjoying the process. How many teams did you talk to? Um, I had around 20, 24, something like that, interviews. And what was the toughest question you got? Um, toughest questions? Uh, I, I don't like questions like what players are the best I played against this year. Uh, I think it's, it's just you know obvious that everyone knows who, who the top, top prospects in this year's drafts are. So why to ask? Also, you know, you never want to give too much praise to your, your, your opposition, right? Exactly. Yeah. Uh, for, for you, what will it be like in Nashville? Are you nervous? Are you excited? Like, what do you think the emotions will be like? Um, I'm excited. Uh, I think I, I did everything I could. Um, now it's, it's not in my hands, I think, anymore. Uh, depends on the teams, how they decide. And just enjoy, enjoy the process. There's still, still a lot of work in front of me, and I'm, I'm just excited I can, I can be at the spot where I am.